Just, oh, it's run, we're rolling? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Second time. Uh, no, really, really proud of the team, really proud of these guys. Again, a, a phenomenal defensive effort today um, against a really good executing team. You know, we held them to 45 points. We ran them off the, the three-point line, and that was the plan. And they were 0 for 9 from the three. Um, and then we were able to push and pace, which is what we want to do, and that's how we want to play. Uh, we handled their pressure extremely well. And uh, overall, just really pleased with our effort and our execution tonight. Can you just, uh, I don't know, two wins, three games, unbeaten at home in the first two games. Could you have imagined maybe a better start or a better foundation here for this season? I imagine it every day. Um, you know, we, we tell the team all the time, things happen twice, uh, first in your mind and then in reality. And so we, we visualize these things. We work on, you know, foreseeing the future. You know, when I took this job, did I think about wins and losses? No, I, talk, I thought about us trying to be our very best every single day. And I knew with players like these and who's in that locker room that if we did that, that if we worked hard every day and we built on it, that we could probably shock some people. Um, and I told them before the game, the only people that will be um, – we're the only ones that won't be surprised when we pull this off because uh, we believe and we'll just keep keep pounding the stone. Still, it seems like you guys are playing with so much confidence. Maybe talk about that, that level of, of confidence. Yeah, I mean, we all have each other's backs from everyone down the line, and I think that it's really helping. Um, communication has been a huge part for all of us and just our constant talk and this team together, like, it, I haven't ever, or I haven't been on, like this team is such a family unit and we prove it off the court and then we show it on the court. And I think that it helps our confidence knowing that we have each other's backs, knowing no matter what, an, an offensive rotation, defensive rotation, that there's someone there to help you out and you're there to help them out. Our saying is iron sharpens iron. And I think that we're all doing a good job helping each other and creating all this confidence for all of us to go up and play the way we are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I think that just comes from practice, you know, and and all the energy that the coaches bring to us every day, and they really believe in us, and we believe in each other. So it just makes it more fun. And when we're flowing and we're confident, we look like we did tonight, and. It's a lot of fun. We haven't had a team like this since in the four years that I've been here. So it's it's something new and it's special and it's just it's really exciting to finally experience the fun that we're having on the court. Touche. <laughs> I, I probably should have tonight. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I never want them to feel like I'm not giving them everything that I have either. Um, they pick on me. We do a lot of, a lot of deep breaths and, and being present. Um, they got me a couple times tonight. See that deep breath, coach? <laughs> you know, just being in the moment. And we also have a saying, and, you know, we've talked about it before, what's important now? You know, that, that last call, good, better, and different, that last play, good, better, and different, did, doesn't matter anymore, and we got to focus on the future and the next play. And I uh, just try to be as present as I possibly can. Um, you know, the staff had us really prepared today, really great scout. Everybody was ready to roll, and, and I thought it showed when they executed. They, they made a nice run at you midway, I think, through the fourth quarter. They got down to two points. What about making the way your team responded? I think you closed on a 14-4 run. Well, we went cold for a minute and, and took, a, you know, took a couple shots that maybe weren't in rhythm and then had a couple turnovers. Gave up a couple ORBs. I mean, you know, that's that's just the flow of the game. Um, and, and we talk about it all the time. It's going to take a full 40. Um, but I knew we would respond. I knew we would respond. I've got fighters. I've got fighters in that locker room. And uh, they're not going down without a fight. So I wasn't surprised at all. And again, I'll talk about our veteran leadership here um, and, and how you know calm they were, collected, and, and we executed. We had to make some adjustments defensively um, that went away from their initial game plan. And we executed them flawlessly. And again, you know, I think we won this game because of our defensive effort. On the first question for you, coaches, what would you say um, was the key factor that led you to the defensive Yeah, that defensive ex execution. Um, you know, just really doing a good job of not letting their best players get the shots they want. Um, and then those rotations. You know, communication's been something that I've talked a lot about. Um, maybe even yelled about a couple times. <laughs> um, but we really responded today. And again, I just want them to know that we've got their back, they've got each other's back, and, and I think that was the difference today. And what is something from specifically this game that you have to take on for the next game against Rebound. <laughs> <laughs> Rebound. 
<laughs> oh yeah. I said I'm not going to talk about rebounding, but I just did. <laughs> uh, no, we're going to enjoy this. We're going to enjoy this. I, credit to St. Joe's. They're a tough team. They're long. They're athletic, and and we stayed the course, you know. And we didn't have Bell tonight, and so uh, next man up. Everybody was ready to go. Kira came in and played some minutes. Lucy was playing out of position. Played really big. Kayla Richardson played really big for us tonight. And again, a total team effort. Total team effort. Will Bell be back for Chicago? She will. Yeah, she should be back. And she's not injured. And it's not COVID related. I guess this question is for either one. You guys can answer it. How do you think it's Well, the rebounds, I'll start with that. We're not good, and coach is kind of <clears throat> harping on us um, from the beginning. But, um, you know, basketball is a game of runs, and they had their fair, sh their fair share of runs, and so did we. Um, but I think we were just a better team in how we responded to their runs. And I mean, that just shows what our culture is. You know, we focus on what, what's important now. And a lot of the times that was just the next play and getting the stop or, you know, scoring the, the off the play that coach just drew up. So, I mean, I think we just really showed our toughness and discipline out there by um, the way we responded tonight, so. Yeah, um, I think we played hard, um, especially in, we attacked um, the first half. We came out and we were ready and we were prepared same thing happened the third quarter, and I think that we all played in with a lot of focus and being very present today, and I think it just carried over throughout the whole game. Even when they went on their run, we responded back, and we found a way each time, and I'm so proud of like this entire team. It was It's such a fun, exciting feeling, and there's honestly <laughs> nothing like it. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, give yourself a compliment. <laughs> this is my Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. 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 Thank you.